And so in some sense, we could boil beauty down to say, ontological perfection manifested. As St. Thomas delineates three realities to beauty, three aspects, three things that are constitutive of beauty. Proportion, integrity, clarity. St. Thomas, of course, is talking about the level of the spirit, that there is a certain moral beauty, and that is a thing against which we measure ourselves. And the reason I bring it up to begin with is because you're moving on. You're the ones that say, I want to move forward. And so the church looks at you and says, we will reclothe you again. We will manifest that you have moved. And there's something about you that's different than when you came. You are more one with him. You are more like unto him. And you've got four more years to get yourselves ready. Because the Son of God, please God, will call you one day, as will the faithful, an alter Christus, another Christ. And you have to manifest the beauty of his love in such a way that all of your actions have the right proportion, have the perfection of integrity, and have the kind of clarity that people are attracted to. To have lives that are noble, to choose the noble, to have all your education and your formation for only one purpose, that you live lives that are in accordance with the nobility of the priesthood that you hope to receive. You will never measure in any way, shape, or form the priesthood of Jesus Christ. But you sure better look like it, to some degree. And the hope, of course, is that you actually do become like another Christ. That even though you will assume him, he will reclothe you ontologically, as it were, in his own priesthood, such that what he does, you do. What you do, he does. My hope is that in the future, when I see you again, and don't simply call you a son, but a brother, is that you won't simply be decorated anew, but you'll be decorous. And that's the difference.